Hey guys, so this is just an update. I'm just watering the plants. I'm just going to tell you what now I'm growing and what I'm going to now be putting in the ground. So over here, um, just a moment. Okay, let's put that down. All right, so over here are the green beans. So I just, as they grow, I just keep putting them down and closer to closer, closer and closer because they're really not going to get any bigger than this. Like they're not gonna like get really bigger. <laughs> they're not gonna they're gonna get taller, but they're not gonna get any wider. Like this is what it is. <laughs> so you can plant them as close as you want them to. Actually, within maybe a few inches apart. Um, I'm just gonna keep growing them, and as they grow, I'm just gonna have a bunch of the green plants here. Um, Yep, that's what I'm doing there. And of course, this is the oregano again, the Greek oregano. It's actually doing a lot better than um, it was last year. So it's doing great compared to last year. Um, and when you pick them off, they smell so amazing. Even my fingers just now, it's like, it smells great. It's really good. I think I might end up getting a few more of these and um put them down just so i can i i really thought they would grow a lot different <laughs> but they don't um so far but that's it on oregano all right so these are squash now you may say well they're so close together because yes um zucchini and squash like yellow squash and zucchini they are going to just grow so big so fast and grow really long and watermelon is the same way it's just going to grow long and then the fruit of the vegetable is going to just grow off of it so it's just going to be like a vine all over but i'm okay with this this is about a 12 inches apart um each each plant is about 12 inches apart and each row is about 12 inches apart so that is I'm okay with that <laughs> I'm okay with it growing everywhere it's not a huge huge garden so I'm going to be just kind of packing everything in to what I can all right down here a few days ago I planted beets and what I love about beets is it gives you really great nutrients what I found out about beets is um, that they have almost every nutrient that we'd need for our bodies. That's fascinating. And I heard that from a doctor. <laughs> so these are really good um, to grow. I used to put them in smoothies all the time. Um, just cut them up and just put them sometimes in our vegetable, like when I make vegetable stir fries. So growing beets are good. Um, although I've never had a harvest with beets. I did grow it away because there are, there are, you can't companion plant with beets that much. And I don't think I'm growing anything that you can kind of companion plant. So that's why I put them way over here. <laughs> um, I'm going to put other things in the middle. But here, and with this, um, you need a good amount. So I dug really far underneath the soil um, and moisturized the soil, like watered the soil underneath it because it's going to be growing kind of underground just like um, carrots are. And you're going to be able to see them and just like potatoes are. You, they grow underground so you don't see them, but you um, will be able to see them once they're they're ripe or once it's ready to pull up all right over here this is going really good um i've been watering it i haven't yet watered anything over here yet except for the potatoes i haven't watered any of these plants yet um but yeah this is going really good i've been kind of picking these um you know whatever's burnt out and so it's starting to look a lot better and come back to life. I did buy some more that I wanted to add in here because some of them kind of dried out and I just pulled them up. That's why it's kind of like a hole right there. 
Um, so yeah, this one is not looking too great right now, but after a little bit of water, they stick right up and they look really great. Either way, the next thing is my bell peppers sprouted. I don't know if I did a, bell, a video on bell peppers. I may have done a story on them, but they have sprouted and I'm just gonna wait some for some time and then I'll eventually plant them in the ground like I'm doing the other ones. And um, like, like I'm doing the green beans. So with bell peppers, just like green beans, they grow the same. They're gonna grow straight up similar to the green beans over there and they don't kind of spread <laughs> spread out they just grow straight up in the air um, and straight up in the air they grow straight up and um yeah they don't spread out so you don't have to worry about the space so you can plant them as close together just like i did those maybe a few inches apart per row and you're good to go watermelon i would love to this is my watermelon y'all i didn't get this far last year when i planted watermelon <laughs> the seeds the soil the weather everything was just not in the favor last year but it's in favor now so this is watermelon i'm so excited about this so i have this many plants i have to count them but i have this many plants and i'm so excited they're gonna grow I cannot wait for a harvest. I actually want to plant these over here. Yeah, I think I want to plant these over here. I think I want to plant the, um, what else over here? I think I want to plant this. Uh, I believe this is the um, zucchini. I think this is zucchini. That one, I think is the squash yellow squash and this is zucchini so i think i'm going to plant these over here because they're both going to do the same thing and i have a bunch over there i do not want to mix these up although they can be i believe can be grown together it's just i don't have enough room i didn't make it enough room because they're going to grow wild um i don't know if i'm gonna it depends on how they are i don't know if i'm gonna make them grow straight up or if i'm going to Put it like a stick on it like something like this right here put one of these on them and let them grow up and i don't know I, it just depends on how i feel about that i'm okay with them growing all over the the garden bed i'm okay with that but i i think i'm kind of way on that i do believe i'm going to go ahead and plant these right here and um Another thing that I do love is the fact that in this greenhouse, I'm gonna be putting this plastic up uh, for on these both sides here, both sides here. We're putting that up. Um, so what I do love is that everything has kept its moisture. Um, this sun, um, what is this? It keeps the sun like, from shining so much and burning out the plants. So with this right here, um, it's helpful with that so they won't burn out. But the moisture from here is like so good. Like just how I just watered this, um, it will stay like this all day. I mean, all day. I don't have to double water like Last year I was watering things in the morning and coming back at night or right before sundown and I don't have to do that here. I'm excited about that. I am excited about these um, potatoes here. I can see new plants here emerging <laughs> and coming out, which is super neat. Um, and wow, this is, and these stems are getting so thick here on the potatoes and um they're coming up good so hopefully maybe around june i'll check those in june but i'm gonna need to put some more dirt in here soon and pretty much guys that was the update for what i'm growing right now um i am planting more seeds or i'm preparing to actually go 
probably sometime this week to the store and then I'll shoot another video on what I find and what I can grab and put back in the garden because I am going to need some more soil. I'm going to need some more soil like over here because I have like, I took all the soil out of here last year and dumped it over here. So yeah, it's <laughs> over there. The soil is raised all the way up here. So um, I'm just thinking I might go ahead and just put some soil um, with these plants. Go ahead and put them in individual pots here and let them just grow until I decide to put more soil in this bed, raised bed. Um, because, yeah, that's I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. I'm not gonna immediately just go buy a bunch of soil and put it here. Um, I'm going to just put these in, in separate pots. I think I'll do that. Actually, these look pretty good. Um, they're about the same, the right length to do it. I usually would wait, um, I would say wait at least when they're at least three to four inches tall and they are, or, um, yeah, and they are. So I'm going to put these in individual pots, um, and go from there. And I also want to grow my watermelon over here. So I'm going to put my bell peppers over here. I can put those in the ground once they get higher. And then, um, I'm going to put my watermelon over here. I have to put down some more bags too here. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. That is the end of this video. I'm not going to make it any longer than it already is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a tour of my garden. Um, currently, what I have. And um, yeah, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking and commenting. If you have any comments um, or if you're doing this a different way, let me know. Um, I'm excited to hear from you guys. Thanks for following. Uh, thanks for subscribing. And head over to thecomfylane.com. Um, I'll put a link of that below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.